Hello you all. In this video we will do the first step of 2 in the synthesis of transcinamic acid. This will be done via the Claisen condensation using sodium ethanolate as catalyst. The sodium we will use has to be in small globules and should be relatively free of paraffin oil. My sodium was already in a small form but if yours is not small enough simply put it in some xylene or toluene. Get a reflux condenser on top of your vessel. Then start heating the solvent until all of the sodium has melted down and start stirring the mixture. Upon cooling the little globules formed by the stirring harden and give you the desired sodium granulate. In our case we will use 2.8 grams of sodium that yields the catalyst. Make sure that the sodium you use is free of the storing liquid because I did not clean it enough which ultimately ended up producing a white foam in the later reaction. Next up we measure out 45 milliliters of absolutely dry ethyl acetate. It is important that the ethyl acetate is 100% dry because of the sodium we are using. If there is any water left in our reactants it will react with the sodium forming sodium hydroxide which could potentially start side reactions and decrease the yield. Now for the second part of the catalyst. Ethanol. The ETOH was also pre-dried using molecular sieves to ensure no water was present. We only need a small amount of ethanol so I measured 0.3 milliliters out and directly combined it with the ethyl acetate. For you all to know. In memory of the fallen I am using chem player sound for this video. We all miss you guys. Now we begin the addition of the sodium to our first educt and the catalyst primer. This should be done slowly because the reaction of the ethanol and the sodium form hydrogen which could ignite. This step has to be done in a ice bath to ensure a safe reaction. Important note. The ice bath is kinda useful safety wise if you're not covering it with aluminium foil. 
because if you drop the sodium it lands straight in water. And only if you are lucky like I am it does not explode your lacy ass to bits. After the addition of the sodium is done we place 10 grams of freshly distilled benzaldehyde in the addition funnel. It has to be freshly distilled because benzaldehyde auto-oxidizes with oxygen from the air forming benzoic acid which contaminates the benzaldehyde. This benzoic acid dissolves in the benzaldehyde making them inseparable without distillation. To the benzaldehyde we add another 20 ml of ethyl acetate to reduce the concentration of the benzaldehyde we are adding thus decreasing the heat produced by every drop we add to the reaction mixture which grants us a better temperature control. Now we slowly add the benzaldehyde ethyl acetate solution to the reaction mixture in a way that the temperature remains under 5 degrees centigrade. Now to what is happening. The reaction of ethanol and sodium metal produced ethanolate in a catalytic amount. This catalyzes the enolization of the ethyl acetate by deprotonation of the alpha methyl group. The enolate now attacks nucleophilically on the carbonyl carbon of benzaldehyde, leaving behind a secondary alk oxide. Over the span of the reaction the mixture darkens in an orange-reddish way. This is due to side reactions because our intermediate ethyl ester of the desired cinnamic acid is a colorless liquid. When the addition is done it is stirred until all of the sodium is consumed. This is very important because we add water which could lead to an explosion. Now we add 10 milliliters of glacial acidic acid and stir the whole thing up. This protonates the secondary alk oxide yielding a hydroxy group. The hydroxy group then undergoes an acid catalyzed thermal elimination of water and yields the ethyl ester of cinnamic acid. For the workup 20 milliliters of water are added, and the mixture is stirred up. This is then put aside to separate out two layers.
The upper organic layer is separated and put aside while the water layer is extracted twice with 20 ml of ethyl acetate. The combined organic layers are then dried using sodium carbonate. Note. Sodium carbonate is not a very good choice, for this purpose magnesium sulfate is the better drying agent. The further purification and the hydrolysis of the ethyl ester to get the desired cinnamic acid will be done in the next video. Until then, have fun and do not kill yourself.